Okay, we're back. This is Tech Math 1. We're looking at Chapter 6. Uh, we're just doing the last section in Chapter 6. And so what we're doing is we're taking a look at whether we should use precision or accuracy. And so when you're adding or subtracting, you use precision. Which means I look at the decimal point and then you take the less precise one. So look, if it's 18 minus 2.15, let's do that, 18 minus 2.15, that gives me this, 15.85. But this goes tens hundredths place, and this is just going to the nearest whole number. And so I would want to report this as the nearest whole number. So I'd actually report it out as 16, okay? Now, why would I do that? Well, because you don't want to, um, like, precision is implied, which means if I measure something just by the foot and I just round it to 18, but then somebody else measures something and they, they go a lot more precise, they use a little electronic one, and it says, oh, it's 2.15 feet. Well, if I report 15.85, I'm now giving them a misleading answer because this one was just a whole number, you know, rounded to a whole number or just I used the measuring device was just for full feet. And this one was a lot more accurate or precise, rather not accurate, precise. OK, and so that's why you always go with the lower of the two. All right. Um, uh oh, this one I didn't write down all the way, apparently. Let's take a look. 12. Okay. We got, um, what is that one? Oh, just what I thought it would be a plus. Okay, so now what if I add this to this to this? Well, this is tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands place hundredths place and thousandths place. So we're gonna add it up, but then we're gonna round to hundredths, okay? Because we don't want to put it in the incorrect preciseness. 1.24 plus 0.418. All right, so we got 1.9069, but I'm not going out to this place. We're going to the weakest link in the chain here, this one. And so, hundredths place. So, 1.91. And this one, let's see, we got thousandths place, we got hundredths place again, and we got ten thousandths place. So we can add them all up. 0.031 plus 2.95 plus 0 0.015. 2.9963, but I only want to go to hundredths place. So I round it, but then that takes it up to three, right? But I want to show precision to hundredths place. So I'll write it like this 3.00. And what that signifies is that I actually went. to hundredths place. I didn't just use a whole number. All right, so 16 and 1.91 and 3.00. I hope that is making sense to everybody. All right, so when we multiply and divide, we don't use precision anymore. For multiplication and division, we use accuracy. And remember, accuracy is based on significant digits. So look, this one has three significant digits. That one has three significant digits. So my answer is going to have to have three significant digits. 5.66 times 9.17. That comes out to be 51.9022. But if I wrote that out, that answer, I, that would give me one, two, three, four, five, six significant digits. I only get three. So 51.9, I'm going to actually round it to tenths because I only want three. And so that rest of that has to go away. 
How about if I have one, two, three, four versus one, two, three? Well, now you, again, just like what we did up there, we go with the less accurate figure. So this one is more accurate. That's out to four significant digits. And that one is three. I'm gonna make my answer have three. So I do 2.629 times 0 0.404. That is 1.062116. So look, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven significant digits, which is way more accurate than the three. I only get three. So 1.06 is going to be my answer because that six right that captures the zeros between the one and the zero the one and the six captures the zero which makes it significant so that, those are my two answers for that I only wanted to do a and b on there because it's just redundant then after all right and then I wanted to do 112 and just D just letter D so again look I've got one, two, three, four significant digits on the numerator, one, two, three significant digits on the denominator. I have to go with the least accurate measurement, the lowest accuracy. So my answer has to only be three significant digits. So four, eight, three point seven divided by 0.216 is this. 2239.351852. So this is quite the dilemma because we only get three significant digits, which means I'm gonna have to take that and round it to in the ten spot. So 2240, that leaves me with just three significant digits because the zero doesn't count as significant. All right, so that is a little, right? a little tricky, a little tricky. And so that is 6.12.